Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to find products that make £10,000 a month. So before we get started, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below and that little bell notification so you know when I upload videos. And let's get right into it. So on my computer here, I've got this program called Jungle Scout. And I'm just going to tell you what Jungle Scout is. Um, you can buy the you can buy the um, web app or you can sign up. There's a Chrome extension, which is the one I've bought. And what is Jungle Jungle Scout? So Jungle Scout allows you to do research on Amazon to find um, profitable product ideas really fast. So you don't have to use Jungle Scout. You can do this yourself by hand. And I'll explain how to do that throughout this video. Um, you can do this up. It's just Jungle Scout can save you tons and tons and tons of time, which is why um, I've now started using it. So I'm going to base this video around the UK just because we're in the UK. I do product research in the UK and new products that I bring out are for the UK. So we're going to click the UK. And um, if you don't have Jungle Scout, again, don't worry. You don't need it. But if you want to get it, it will be there will be a link in the description and you can get it and you'll see why it's so good. So I'm going to go through how to use it now. So first we want to select um, Marketplace, which is the UK, because we are only focusing on the UK in this video. I will make another video for the US, but for now, let's just focus on the UK. We then have all of these things. So we've got price, net, rank. What is all of this? So the price, the price of the product, this, so this means, because what this does is this searches Amazon's entire database and finds you examples of products that could be successful. So you have to put in a few things of, um, you have to put in a few different things of uh, criteria. that's a good word. You want to put in a few different things, um, or criteria that you have to, that, that, that the product has to meet in order um, for it to work. So we've got price and I've chosen a price between 10 and 50 pounds. And I've chosen this because anything below 10 pounds, you're going to find it very hard to make um, a good profit margin, good money. And um, the reason I've gone up to 50 pounds is because anything over 50 pounds, it stops becoming an impulse buy and it becomes more of a, um, you have to start thinking about buying it. So if something costs more than 50 pounds, you're not just going to quickly buy it. You might think about it. You might even ask your family or spouse or friend or something like, should I get this? Should I not get this? We don't want um, our potential customers thinking like this. We want our potential customers to find our product and buy it. So we've done 10 and 50 pounds. The net, we can leave the net. The rank. Now, usually you can leave the rank. However, I find this important just because the rank is how well it ranks on Amazon. And rank means demand. So if um, the products are ranking well, it means there's a good demand for it because it's ranking high on Amazon. If the products are ranking terribly, it means it's a bad demand. I'm going to go into that in a bit more detail um, later on in the video when it comes up. We then have estimated sales. This you don't really have to put in. I put this in just because um, I know if I'm selling for £10 or £50 and I'm getting 400 sales a month, then I'm making between three, I'm making 3,000 plus profit or more, which is a good start. But in this video, remember, we're talking about making 10,000 pounds. Estimated revenue, we'll leave that. Reviews, reviews are very important because reviews um, um, are the factor, uh, are the deciding factor um, in a lot of cases because reviews denote um, the competition. So if, a pro if all the products on the top, uh, um, on the top search for that, that product, um, if they all have five, 600 reviews, then there's really, really high competition and you're going to find it very hard to sell your product there because people will not click your product if they see other products with tons of reviews. So we've put a max of 150 reviews. Rating, we've left. Now weight, I've done weight and weight is done in, in pounds. Um, so three pounds is actually quite a lot to be honest. Um, but I've put weight in there. You can get rid of weight if you want. The only reason why I've put weight in there is because we don't want to sell something on Amazon that's too heavy um, because your shipping fees, getting it to Amazon, will cost a lot. And your Amazon fulfillment fees, which we'll discuss a bit later, will also cost a lot. So um, I'll leave that at three just for now. Number of sellers, doesn't matter. Listing quality, doesn't matter. You then want to do product tier. So this we want to keep, keep a standard. We don't want to do oversized products. We don't want to do seller, we want to do fulfilled by Amazon. Leave the keywords 
um, just leave all the keywords. Once you've done, once you've done all of this, you then want to go and move over to categories here and select the right categories because there are some categories which you shouldn't select. So we're going to go through that quickly now. You have automotive, which I've left unticked, baby unticked, baby products could be ticked, and um, beauty. Now, usually I don't tick beauty um, because sometimes it can be problems with FDA approvals and some of the cat some some of the categories are, are restricted on Amazon and you've got to apply to get them and it's hard. So usually I don't tick it, but for this example, I'm going to tick it. Um, CDs, vinyl, leave, all of these leave um, because you don't want to get into anything like electric, um, computers, that sort of stuff, because if you don't know how it works, then it's hard to sell it. So for example, if you want to sell a computer because firstly, I mean, those are just branded items that people, the, those are owned by brands, like they dominate Amazon, like Apple and Dell and um, HP, that sort of stuff. But also it's electric, which means it's confusing and you don't want to mess around with confusing things. You want something very basic. Garden and outdoors, yeah, 100%. Groceries, no, we don't want to do food. Health and personal care, yep. Home and kitchen, yep. Jewelry, nope. Kitchen and home, yep. Um, and you can see the other one. So luggage, I'm going to untick luggage for this one just because luggage is usually quite big and heavy. Even though under luggage you have wallets and that sort of stuff, which can work. Musical instruments, nope. Office products could work. Pet supplies could work. And sports and outdoors could work. All the other ones I've left unticked. Next, what you want to do is you want to click search. And what this does is it shows you a database of all the potential products, right? Now this is brilliant. However, this doesn't mean that these products are going to be good. So what you then want to do is you want to then take one of these product ideas. So this is a garden water hose. So next what you want to do is go to Amazon. And this just gives you ideas. You still have to do a bit of research and actually find out whether or not it's a good product. And that's where the Jungle Scout Chrome extension comes in. You can see at the top of my screen here, I have the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. This little, yeah, there, right there. And we're going to use that and I'm going to show you what it does. So just to go back, the things you want to bear in mind are when you're going through this, you don't want to mess with big brands. So if you can see there's a product and you know they're dominated by big brands, then just leave it. And if you can see a product that is overly saturated and you know it's probably oversaturated, like, like this one, um, assistant pull up resistant bands, super oversaturated market. You don't even want to mess with it. There's so many people selling them. It's crazy. Stuff like this, enhanced vitamins, so many people selling it. However, um, we're going to go we're going to go and do the research on this water hose because that actually looks pretty good. So when you search, when you search in the search, the search bar here, you want to use the main keyword, which is generally the most popular keyword. So instead of searching for um, green garden water hose, because that's a long tail keyword, and we'll discuss that a bit later, you want to search for the most popular, which would just be garden hose, because that's the most popular keyword. Once you've done that, you've got all these products showing up here. You then want to go over and click the Jungle Scout um, Chrome extension. And what that will do is, well, what that will do is that will bring up um, all the information. We're going to go through all this information so you can understand why, what's good, what's not good. And then I'm going to give you examples of bad products and good products so you can really understand it. So let's analyze um, this, this information we've got here. So you've got all the averages here. You've got the average monthly sales, the average sales rank, the average price, and the average reviews. So do you remember what I said? I said the rank, it tells you how much demand there is, right? So we like to go between anything between zero and a thousand. And we generally like to find at least 10 products on the first page that has zero to a thousand rank. Um, so let's just quickly go through these ranks. Okay, so you've got 158, 145, 159, way over 2,000, way over 1,000, way over 1,000, way over, uh, just over 1,000, I should say, 398, 858, um, 293. So I wouldn't say that there are 10 here, but there are quite a few here, um, 858. So I would put this on as a potential. However, I would continue to look just because I don't think there's enough demand. There are other ways to find demand, and we discuss so many different ways to prop to like do much more research and actually go and find the demand using multiple different keywords in the actual course. But for this video, I'm just gonna keep it a bit more simple. So that's us, that's we've discussed demand now, and what else is important? So we also discuss reviews. Well, you can go down here and you can see reviews. So anything between zero and 150 we put in, because that's something we can compete with, right? So we've got 99 here, 
this is way over 226, 960, 198, 231, 170. Those are all hard to compete with, hard to compete with. But then you have 106, you have 22, you have 51, you have 166. So um, in terms of this product, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you my what I think of this product. So it's got an okay demand, not really enough demand to really consider. Um, it seems like there's quite a lot of competition based on the reviews it has. So to be honest, I probably wouldn't look at this product. And we can see its monthly sales are averaging of 334 and we wanted an average of 400. However, some products, for example, this one's doing about 10,000 revenue, 27,000 revenue, uh, 10,000 revenue, 26,000 revenue. So there are some pretty good products here, like pretty good listings. So you can also see as well as, um, cause another factor is the price. We wanted something between 10 and 50 pounds. So you can see that actually covers that because the average price here is 21 pounds 64. So the only box that this product has ticked is the average price. It's ticked the average price because the average sales rank is huge. The monthly sales is slightly lower than we wanted and the average reviews is higher than we wanted. So this would be a no-no of a product. So what you would do is you would go back to Jungle Scout and you would just keep going and research more products. So for example, we could research, um, go to page two, there's lots and lots of pages. We can research here, yeah, anything, a vape pen e-liquid. Uh, we can research um, squash balls. We can research um, LED gloves. We can research like, anything. There's tons of stuff here, right? So let's move on. And I want to give you an example of a bad product um, because this was a bad product, but I want to give you an example of a really bad product so you can really see it. So let's search in bike cover. Okay, and let's do, so on the surface, this looks like a pretty good product. If you just look at the prices here, uh, the reviews 96, 60, 47, um, 81. So here we go. It seems like a good product on the surface, right? However, when you start looking into it, I don't know why the averages haven't come up, oh, it's still loading. It seems like a good product. Look, average review 74, brilliant. That's That's past that one. Average price, 11.77, that's over 10 pounds, that's fine for us. However, average sales rank, 17,278. Now, a lot of people skip this, right? I've seen a lot of um, videos where people don't talk about the sales rank, and it's just so important because this is the demand. If there's if there's a really, really high sales, if, if the sales rank is 17,000, then the demand for that product is is tiny, right? And, and to prove that, look at the average monthly sales. Because the demand is so small, the average monthly sales is so small. Whereas I'm also gonna show you an example of the average sales rank being really, really good and showing you that the average monthly sales are gonna be really, really good. So this is an example of a really bad product just because the average sales rank is so, so huge. Now we discussed um, um, avoiding products that brands own. So I'm gonna give you an example of that as well. So let's put in squash balls. And you can see here that this is um, Dunlop has monopolized this product. So even if it seems like a great product, even if it gets lots of um, lots of sales, it's got great rank, it's got uh, little reviews. You have to you have to fight you have to think if it's worth it if you want to compete when there's a brand owning it. So for example, this is Dunlop, 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 Dunlop. Dunlop, it's crazy, Dunlop again. And whenever it's not Dunlop, it's usually Wilson. So this, this first page and this product is dominated by Dunlop and Wilson. So this is what we call brand monopoly. And this brand has the monopoly on this product and we would just completely ignore it. We wouldn't even look at that. So let's, let's discuss the next um, important factor. So we've discussed if it's got great, com like the competition you can easily work with, but it's got too much, it's got, doesn't have enough demand. Let's flip that to something that has way too much competition. So we've got baby car mirror. Let's try that one. Okay, and let's, oh, I've just clicked something that I didn't mean to click. Yeah, I clicked Amazon Fresh. Um, let's go to Jungle Scout. And what you can see is this product has pretty good BSRs. You can see 12, Okay, so the average is 2,800, which is over 1,000. However, if you go into it, you can see 12, uh, or I'll just say under 1,000, under 1,000, under 1,000, under 1,000, under 1,000, under 1,000. So there are quite a few under 1,000. There are quite a few. However, 
The reviews are 414, 871, 486, 228, 557. The average price is also really bad. And the average monthly sales is just under 400. So I'm gonna just tell you the sweet spots of everything you want here. I've discussed the base with you of what you're looking for. So you want this number to be anything over 400. You want this number to be anything between, well, zero obviously, and about 1,000, 1,500. Now bear in mind, this is taking all of these results into, into count. So if this is, let's say 2,800, but the top 10 products are under 1,000, then that's fine. That's a good product. You can definitely work with that product. We want the average price to be over 10 pounds because we wanna think of our profit margins. And then we want the average reviews to be, this is good, average reviews of 183 is not so bad, but we then have to go into it. So yes, there are reviews 14, 63, 32, 11, 58, 10, 7, those are amazing, right? Uh, but look at their sales. Their sales are five sales, 5, 55, 79, 5. These are rubbish sales, right? We want to be getting sales of 1,891, be making profit of 18 grand but their reviews are killer, 414, 871. So you have to also, as well as just looking at the averages, you have to actually go and look at these, these products. And now I did say I would discuss how you can do this if you don't have Jungle Scout, and you can do it. You, you just would have to go into the product search over here. No, I don't want to try Prime. You would have to go into the product search over here look at the reviews for each one and then think about it. You would then have to go into each individual product, open in a new tab, open in a new tab, right? And then actually go down and actually look at their BSR. So scroll down and then go 12. Okay, that's 12 BSR. What's this one? It's 586. So it's incredibly time consuming and what you won't see is average sales and you won't see any averages. You'll have to work it all out yourself. So not only is it incredibly time consuming, but it's just, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's a waste of time really when there are programs out there like Jungle Scout. So we're gonna move on now. And I just wanted to just tell you that this is one way of doing product research. In our course, we have an entire section on product research and this is just one video. We have tons and tons of information teaching you tons of different ways to do product research with eBay, Alibaba, using the Google keyword tool, using really cool tricks about how to spy on um, people and see um, what's the most watched items and what's the most, um, um, just watch the best items to go for. So we have that all in the course, but in this video, I just wanted to make it about Jungle Scout and how you can use Jungle Scout to find a product and make 10,000 a month. So that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions whatsoever about Jungle Scout, about finding products, just leave a comment in, in, the, in the comment section below and I'll try and answer it as best as I can. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.